Now, there's tension in France after a satirical magazine, Charlie Hebdo, printed cartoons of the Prophet Muhammad. The magazine is now starting a second print run because it sold out the usual order of 75,000 copies in just a few hours. That was on Wednesday. This demonstration in Kabul is just the latest in a week of anti-American protests across the Muslim world. But now these protesters are also directing their ire against France after a magazine there published several caricatures mocking the Prophet Muhammad, some showing him naked. And France, another group also tried to attempt to hurt Muslim Ummah feeling by driving a cartoon. We strongly condemn this and we accept that there are different circles, groups, uh, they periodically trying to hurt Muslim Ummah feeling and we strongly condemn this and it will really create problem for, for French troops here and their assets all over the country. Bracing for more hostile reaction, especially after Muslim prayers on Friday, France has closed up to 20 of its embassies and schools around the world. In Lebanon, security has also been tightened around the French ambassador's residence. And the Paris officers of the magazine that published the cartoons have now been given riot police protection. But the editor is unrepentant. Mohammed is sacred for the Muslims, and I can understand that, but for Muslims only. I'm an atheist. Mohammed is not sacred for me. I understand perfectly the Muslims don't violate the law of blasphemy, and I don't blame Muslims for not laughing at our drawings. But they shouldn't tell me under which law I should live. I live under French law. I don't live under Quranic law. <laughs> Police remain parked outside that magazine's headquarters and French embassies and schools in about 20 countries will be closed today. Tunisia's interior minister has banned all demonstrations set for today. Websites there had called for protests against the cartoons. Last week, four Tunisian protesters died while demonstrating against an anti-Islam video posted online. <laughs> France has tightened security around the world wherever its nationals may face danger from Muslims outraged at blasphemous cartoons published in Paris. In Lebanon, the government's reinforced security near French schools, cultural centres, embassy offices and homes of expatriates. Embassies and other official outposts across the Muslim world have been closed. In 20 countries, the French are lying low. Ask these mothers in Tunisia what they think of the editor of the magazine that published the cartoons. Free speech is all very nice if you're safe in Paris. What would you say to the editor? Poor fool, I'm sorry, but you poor fool, you're safe at home, nothing will happen to you. But we're here in Tunisia. All the French who live in the Muslim world are today feeling threatened. Targets. French expatriates have expressed a measure of concern. Since that cartoon was published in, the French, in a French uh, magazine, um, us French people can be targeted by the Muslim uh, e extremists and that's why we can feel unsafe today everywhere in the world. The situations raised the issue of just how much liberty people can or should take in tackling certain matters in the public arena. Nobody wants to question whether freedom of speech should be limited or not and it's possibly why uh, Charlie Hebdo decided to test how far they could go. I'm not too sure that they envisage the impact it could actually have on French citizens abroad, putting maybe their lives in danger. The editor of Charlie Hebdo is already under armed guard. When his magazine published such a cartoon in November last year, his offices were firebombed.